Hi everybody, welcome back to another edition of Wellness Wednesday with a special Thursday edition. I'm Tom. And I'm Duncan. And wrapping up our shoulder month, we're going to be an doing an exercise called Rhythmic Stabilizations. So essentially, as physical therapists, we like to use rhythmic stabilization. There's a, it's called a force couple. There's certain muscles that should push and pull at the same time to help get your shoulder up and elevated. The problem is if that force couple is not as balanced as you want it to be, a lot of times we see this, shoulder hiking coming up. So without getting too much into the anatomy, I'll show you one uh, quick fix that you could try um, as long as it's pain free. And if you do have a partner, it's better. If not, I'll show you how to do the exercise with just by yourself. So I'll ask Duncan to lie down on his back. And what he's gonna do is use his left shoulder I'm going to bring him up past 90 degrees of elevation. At this point, he's going to keep his shoulder there. I cue to have it back and down a little bit so you're not popping it up too much. And from here, I'm just going to ask Duncan to hold his arm. I'm going to start down by the shoulder and just give some, we call them perturbations. And he's just going to try to not let me move him. As he gets good at this, I'm going to work my way up and make it even harder. If you don't have somebody that can do these perturbations, you can grab something like a kettlebell. We hold it upside down because the, the top heaviness of it makes it a little less predictable. And he can just hold that there. Duncan's nice and strong, so 10 pounds is probably not quite enough for him, but um, for most of us, especially if it's post-surgery and we're far enough out, or if you notice that you have that height um, and you have not been diagnosed with any sort of uh, tear or compromise of any soft tissue structures, 10 pounds might be a lot. You would see some quick adjustments, and then you just try to hold it. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell, there are things around the house that you could use, something like a gallon of milk or a jug of water, anything that is just not one uh, congruent weight throughout like a dumbbell would be. Um, go ahead, give that a shot. It's pretty advanced, so make sure that you're reaching out to us if you have any questions. Or if you want to know if, if you might be somebody that rhythmic stabilization is appropriate for. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching. Take it easy.